All right, there, percent of change. Um, percent of change compares the difference between two values to the original value. So there's kind of three basic steps here. One, step one is to find the difference between the two. Please make sure that you're marking which one is the original. Divide the difference that you just found by the original and change your answer to a percent. Um, the final step is to identify it as an increase. So when you look from your original number to your next number, did it go up or a decrease if it went down? So example one, the price of gasoline changes regularly, find the percent of change. So here's a 1970 price versus a 2010. This is going to be our original. Our first step is to find the difference. So we just need to take the larger number and subtract um, the smaller number from it. So we're going to do 2.95 minus 1.30, which is going to give us 1.65. From there, we take that number, we divide by the original, which is why I had you circle it. And in order to change it to a percent, we can either divide these and then change our decimal, or we can go ahead and multiply by 100 when we actually type this in. So I'll kind of show you the difference here. If you just do 1.65 divided by 1.30, you would end up with 1.269, which would then mean that you have to move your decimal point two places to the right. The other option would be to do 1.65 divided by 1.3 times 100, and it's now already moved it over. So you can see it's 126.9. Um, for this section, we really just round to the nearest whole number, so 126.9 would be 127%. And did the price go up from the original, or did it go down? It went up, so this is what we call an increase then. In example number two, you brought a drone for $280. Now it is on sale for $220. Find the percent of change in the price. This is your original right here, so step one is to do a subtraction problem. 280 is larger minus the 220, which gives you a $60 difference. Divide by your original, which is 280, and multiply by 100. We get 21.4, which would just round to 21%. And the price went down, so this is what we would call a decrease then. Take a look. Um, try example three and four, pause the video, and come back and check your answers. So hopefully if you found that both of these were increases, uh, if you notice, I still go through and I actually circle the original number just to help with clarification purposes.